Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about making a travel kit. This is a much bigger travel kit than I normally go with, but I have extra room and I'm going to show you what I'm taking with me. This time I'll be going away for 10 days and I'm going by car so I can bring a little bit more than what I normally bring. I am bringing a bigger container to hold all my things. So almost everything I'm bringing is sitting here. I have two magazines here. I decided I'm going to bring in case I want to do collage and I'm dropping things already, you guys. <laughs> Now I'm going to start putting them in my box that you saw in the beginning while I'm talking you through what I've got here. I'm going to call this a mixed media box and basically the first thing I'm going to have is a bunch of scraps. So these are magazine pages, some papers that I've made and just scraps of things that I've saved. These are tag <laughs> take two. That, that does not want to stay on my desk. Okay, so these are just scraps and such that I'm going to put right inside one of the magazines in my box. The next thing I have here are journals. This is a moleskin Japanese, it's called a Japanese album, and it's just a fold out I like this little format. Now, along with that, I have some things that I made, some journals that I made quick and easy. So these are cards actually, not journals. So these are cards. And I usually travel with these in my travel boxes. This is a zine pre-folded and made that I'm bringing with me. And this is another form, still a zine, but it's another kind of paper that I use. So I have a couple choices in papers. So it's a zine, and in case you don't know what a zine is, it's a one sheet piece of paper that you fold, you cut down the middle like that, and you make a book or a zine with. This is another zine that I had started already. Actually, it's upside down. This was a gift. It has some very nice paper in it. It's more smooth than, it's not quite hot press paper, but it's more smooth than most cold press papers, but it's Fabriano paper, but someone had gifted me this years and years ago. This is one of those dilutions by Ranger books that has dot grid, and I use this to keep track of my ideas and thoughts and things like that, so that's why this is with me. Then I have just a mixed media Strathmore journal, and this is going with me because I have a friend that's going, and I'm not sure she's bringing any art supplies. But if we have time and we can make art, then I want to do that. And this is just a watercolor, a pad of watercolor paper that I wanted to bring with me. Oh, I also have some mark making tools, things that will make marks on my papers. These are just some more scraps that I had and some punchella. So these are great for mark making. I have two different rolls of washi tape, mostly to hold things down if I need to. Washi tape is always good to have on hand. So two rolls of washi tape. I have these clips that I like to bring with me. Uh, clips are just always handy to have, always, always. So those are going with me. A pencil sharpener in case I need that. And I always keep an elastic band. I always keep an elastic band around them because so they don't open and make a mess in my travel kit. All right, let's talk pens. So I have these pens, which are Tombows and Tombows are water-based, so they're water soluble. I like this gray one because if you need shadows or want to make shadows for something, and I just picked out random colors. They're multi-purpose. They're like using a watercolor if you want to add water to them. When traveling, I look for multi-purpose things if I can find them. I'm bringing my color sheets, the Viva color sheets because uh, this is a great way to travel with watercolors. And I love these. I'm going to put those in. I always have a trusty pair of scissors on hand. I am bringing my brayer, my little brayer, and my little 3 by 5 gel plate. I have room. I'm putting it in the box because I thought it would be fun to have. Now, the gel plate, you can just mix paint colors on here. I could use the watercolors and mix paint colors. I could make backgrounds with it. The brayer, because I also use that just randomly in my journals. So, you know, both of them have multi-purposes. Okay, paint colors. So I have black and white, and these are just little Amsterdams that make it easy to travel. I always throw black and white in, and then I have these, actually, I have to be honest. I've had these, these are Dina Wakeley's paints. So it's just acrylic paint. This is marine. This is peacock, which is kind of teal. This is buff, whitish, olive, 
and this one is eggplant a little purpley so I've had these for a really long time I haven't used these a lot but these seem like great travel tubes so or travel bottles definitely glue stick now I have my Caran d'Ache water soluble crayons again when you talk about double duty these can be used dry or wet and these kind of are as good as a watercolor really if you ask me my opinion but so I'm bringing my full set which is not something I usually do but again I have a friend going with me and you know we may want to use these together I'm bringing this container for water it's always good to have handy then this is my collection of well honestly it's kind of a mess in here you'll see it's a mix of things that are all coming with me so I have some permanent ink pens which are the microns these microns uh, just for doodling or playing or whatever and a Faber-Castell I have this Procky by Uni I have this Posca. I like it because it's a bright color. I have that. I have a Sharpie because it's permanent and you can't ruin these. So if you wanted to go over paint, it, these are probably the best ones I think to use. So it's a dual tip. So it's a thicker tip at this end and a finer tip at this end. I have this Uni Vision. Um, it's a Uniball, sorry, Vision pen. And this is permanent actually, and it's great for using in journals, I find. Uh, I have this color shaper just in case I want something like that clearly a white pen because what's an artist without her white pen anybody I think we bring those everywhere we go I have some water brush pens which I want to put the top on this one I sometimes empty these and let them dry out so they don't get ruined I have this pencil which is from Zentangle it's a, so it's for making shadows and things I always travel with that and then I have this highlighter this is great for lettering so I always have some kind of a highlighter in my bag and then I have these purpley pink and a black um, Tombow also and last but not least I have my set of Drune Intense pencils I haven't used these a lot I've got these for Mother's Day and I haven't had the opportunity to use these a lot over the summer so I decided to bring these to play with and these are wonderful because they're ink, they're water soluble, you can paint, you, you can use them as paint. They're just multi-purpose. So I am going to bring the whole tin because we're going to, it's not air travel, right? So I don't have to worry about these falling and getting ruined. But this was a really nice gift I got from my husband for Mother's Day and I loved this. So uh, I'm definitely bringing this with me. That makes up my entire kit. So everything fits neatly in this box and I have a lid for it. And I'm going to put the lid on, show you that's what it looks like. And I'll take the lid off so you could see how everything fit in there perfectly. And that's that. So thanks for watching. Everybody have a great week. If you make up a kit like this, let me know. Did I forget something? Maybe you want to tell me what I forgot. Leave a comment and let me know if you think I forgot something or if there's something that can't be that you can't live without that you bring on your travels. This is a luxury to me because normally I fit everything in a small case. So I like having the extra room. It's super luxurious <laughs> feeling. So, okay. I'll be back next week with a new video and I'll see you then.